Happy Midday Monday to you. Pray that all is well. This is Mr. Favor. Sorry I'm late, guys. As I always say, sometimes I don't always be able to get on at 12 noon. But uh, I'm here. Thanks. Thanks be to God. I'm here. Um, got a lot going on today. Um, had to had to uh, pick up a blessing this morning. So I just got just got done doing that. I just got dropped off uh, back here where I was where I started, and uh, I'm about to head out now. Uh, go grab me some lunch, and then I got to go back and pick up my blessing. So just running some things, getting some errands done. Uh, but uh, just business as usual. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to have. Uh, something going on, like I always say, uh, you got to be productive. It's all about the productivity, guys. Um, if you're not producing, you're not being productive. And being busy doesn't mean you're being productive. So <clears throat> I'm grateful that uh, even on a cloudy day like today, a rainy day, a little bit here and there, but it don't stop. It don't stop the the uh, productivity, guys. And that's always important. You got to always have something to do. Uh, keep those wheels turning. Uh, keep keep the process going. And that's very important, guys. So always say that to you guys. Don't always put your don't put all your eggs in one basket. I always tell y'all that. You right? Don't never put all your eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to. Uh, you got to be able to. Uh, uh, make sure you got your stuff and your ducks in a row and you go from there. You know what I'm saying? So don't never put all your eggs in one basket, guys. You always want to be uh, neutral and you want to be, be able to move around and stuff like that. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope you all had a blessed uh, weekend and you all are having a blessed, successful, safe and productive day. Um, it's always a pleasure to come to you every Monday at 12 noon or after 12, <laughs> uh, whichever one. So uh, I'm grateful to be back. And uh, I had a wonderful weekend. Got a chance to get some rest. Uh, we had a wonderful service on yesterday at the temple. Uh, thank God everybody's doing well. And I pray that all is well with all of you your family and everybody that is uh, uh, connected to you and around you. Uh, blessings to each and every one. So, uh, and again, I want to say it's another Midday Monday Nugget with Mr. Favor uh, to all the business owners out there. I hope everything is going well for you. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just coming on today just to share something real important guys um uh how can i say this <laughs> uh be careful how you be careful how you treat people in business guys be careful how you treat people in business um be careful what you say about somebody in business because you just never know you just never know um, when you may be in a situation where you may need somebody to help you. So try not to burn your bridges. Okay, try not to burn your bridges. Try not to, you know, don't don't mistreat people um, because business is a small world. Business is a small world, especially if you're in a particular business, especially in this trucking. This trucking business, it's a small world. So, you, 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 you know, you got a lot of people that know this person, that person. Somebody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's like, it's like a, it's like a, it's an extended, it's an extended connection. Okay. And so you, you got to be careful not to to burn your bridges, you know, and then you got to be careful how you how you talk about people, 
you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know who know who. And information can travel so fast and it can get back to an individual and you don't even know it. You don't even realize it because you don't, you don't know the reach of a person. You don't know the network uh, of a person. So you got to be careful. I, I've been seeing this a lot here lately. Um, and we, we can't, we can't do that guys. We just can't do that. We can't, we can't be at each other. We cannot be in competition with each other. We can't try to discredit another person's name to try to make ourselves look good. That's the wrong approach to, to come with in business. That's the wrong approach. Um, trying to, uh, you don't build, you don't build. See, that's the difference. That's the difference in building a good name and building a reputation. Um, a lot of times people, when they try to build their reputation, because it's based upon a certain image that they have, they take the route of trying to discredit somebody else's name so that they can make themselves look good. You understand what I'm saying? That's a person that's about reputation. But you got a person that's about a good name. They understand the the importance of a good name. You know, they do everything they can to try to, you know, do business in a honest, integral way. Uh, they treat their customers with respect. Um, they don't have a mindset to try to get over on a customer or to overcharge a customer or uh, to to charge one price but not, you know, deliver the work and the the service that they promise to deliver because it's all about they're trying to build themselves instead of building a solid foundational business that can eventually uh, take them, you know, beyond where they are right now. Because all it takes, guys, is to have a good, good rapport with the right customer. And that customer has a network of other businesses. And all they got to do is just share your business and share your name with their their colleagues or those that they already are in business with and it can cause you to be blessed beyond measure and 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 set you up to be blessed in so many different ways you don't have to undermine people you don't have to you don't have to talk about people you don't have to try to make people look bad and say negative things about an individual to try to make yourself look good you don't have to do that all you got to do is just do good work uh do, uh, do uh, um bring forth good quality service and your work will open up the doors for you your 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 work will speak for itself and you don't have to worry about uh trying to undermine anybody or trying to you know get get somebody else's customers or try to, you know, you don't have to do that because what is for you will be for you. Um, and there's so much of this stuff going on in business, man. And I'm like, I was talking about this on last week. We got to change our mindset when it comes to business. If you're going to be in business and if you're going to be a business owner, you got to change your mindset. You got, I mean, your, 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 everything, everything has to change about you, but it starts with the mind. It starts with the way you think, um, because the way you think is the way you're going to operate. The way you think is the way you're going to communicate. All that stuff is a reflection of the way you think. And, uh, so you don't have to do that. All you got to do is be honest, uh, be respectful and respect, respect what belongs to another man. You know what I'm saying? And we got to get out of this competitiveness, man. You don't have to do all of that. There's so much out here for everybody, but everybody is not willing to make the sacrifices. Everybody is not willing to put the work in. And so it's just easier to just slide in and just try to, you know, try to take something or try to like, speak against or 
you know what I'm saying, try to tarnish somebody's name or something like that. And uh, you don't have to do those things. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, if you if you want to be blessed by God and you want uh, blessings to last, and you want to be able to benefit from the blessings of the Lord and to the point to where you can be a blessing to other people. Um, God will bless you like that. You know what I'm saying? God will bless you so good to where you can be a blessing to other people. So it don't, it don't, it don't always have to be about you, but you can be in a position to where you can be a blessing to other people um, as well as yourself. So, and that's a good place to be. You know, a lot of people don't really get to that level because it's it's all based upon self. Self, it's all based upon self looking out for themselves they don't really care about nobody else so god can't entrust you with that level of blessing that level of influence and that level of network to where you can bless somebody else um, you can share the you can share the blessing and be able to afford to share the blessing you understand what i'm saying so that's what it's all about so the nugget of the day is be kind, be courteous, be respectful uh, as it pertains to business and to other people. And don't do don't do to somebody else that you don't want somebody to do to you. Because, you know, whatsoever we sow, that that shall we also reap. OK, so what we give out is what we're going to receive. What we do to others, somebody going to come back and do to us. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. Let's 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 get more let's get more more uh, professional, and let's let's be more integral in what we do, and let us not tear each other down. Let us not try to uh, speak against anybody. Uh, just keep just keep keep your keep your path clean. <laughs> keep keep your keep your as we say out here in in the business world. Keep your nose clean. And just keep your name, keep your name good. And anybody that try to tear down your name, you know, you don't, you don't want them as a connection. You don't want them as a connection because you're, you're not able to trust them. You know, a person that tries to discredit and tear down your name and stuff like that, they can't be trusted. So, you know, you just got to be careful especially in business you just got to be careful all the way around um so i keep it real guys i don't sugarcoat anything i don't try to hide i don't try to put no icing on it because it's not cake it's it's reality it's not cake it's reality it's the truth and a lot of people can't handle the truth but you know i just refuse to live in a bubble of bondage to where you know because the, the scripture says and you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free so there's freedom in the truth so as long as you speak the truth and stand on the truth live the truth you're gonna live a free life and those that don't like the truth they are the ones that are not experiencing the freedom that they can have as it relates to the truth so I'm not going to live in bondage. I'm not going to live in, in a bubble. I'm just going to speak the truth. Um, I'm doing it in a respectful way. Um, not trying to uh, be uh, negative or anything, but I'm just going to speak the truth. And uh, I, I pretty much talk about things that a lot of people want to sweep under the rug. Uh, a lot of people want to dress, but I'm not, I'm not made that way. You know, I don't, I'm not one to talk about the problem. I'm one to, that will talk to the problem. See, there's a difference. You have people that talk about problems, but then you got people that talk to problems. Now they'll, they'll complain about the problem, but they won't address the problem to get rid of the problem. So, uh, so you want to be a solution. You want to be an answer. <laughs> You want to be one that would talk to the problem, address the problem, so that you can bring resolution to the problem. 
So that's what Mr. Favor is, okay? But okay, guys, I got to go. I'm almost to uh, my location here. Probably ride mm, maybe five minutes away. But um, I got some other things I got to get done and so I can be back tonight with AGA to serve you and back to the Bible. And uh, got a new segment coming up real soon, probably within another week or two. Um, want to get y'all prepared for that. And so we're going to get prepared for that. And uh, so stay tuned, guys. Got a lot of great things coming on the horizon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I will share as time allows and as wisdom releases me to do so. Le re wisdom releases me to do so. It is not wise to uh, sh share and tell everything that you got going on. It's not wise. Uh, so... That's a that's a lesson that you got to learn on your own and you don't have to share everything, post everything. I don't I don't think that's wise. Uh, sometimes we I think sometimes we share things and post things because we want to send a message or, you know, sometimes we want people to see what they said that we couldn't do. Or we we want to prove somebody wrong. I think that's. I don't think that's wise. I think that's a bad move. Um, because you don't want to be making decisions and you don't want to be doing things to, just to prove somebody wrong. Because that's the that's the ultimate purpose of why you did it. So you won't be able to fulfill the right purpose for doing it because your motivation for doing it is based upon the wrong purpose and the wrong reason. Think about that. Anything you do, make sure it's for the right reason and for the right purpose. Because if you're doing it for the wrong purpose, it's not going to fulfill the right purpose. Therefore, you're not going to get fulfillment out of it. And you're not going to be able to be effective in the right way because the foundation is not based upon the right purpose and the right reason. Okay? So you don't ever want to do something out of spite. You don't want to do something to try to uh, prove a point or try to impress somebody or something like that. That's the wrong reason. And you can't if you can't expect it to be effective in the right way if the intent is based upon the wrong reason. OK, so just keep that in mind, guys. All right. I got to go. This is Mr. Favor. I enjoyed my little time here. Uh, Y'all continue to be blessed. Continue to have a uh, safe, successful, and productive Monday. It's cloudy out here, but still a good day. Nice temperatures, warm. We shifting into the new season. It's fall. This is my kind of weather right here. But uh, again, y'all be safe. Um, traffic is building up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, y'all be safe. Continue to have a God-blessed Monday afternoon. This is Mr. Favor. I'm out of here. Peace.